hey you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Apolina and I know I've been gone for a minute but I'm back now and uh, I thought this would be a cute video to film for you guys and a good content to have out because it's quarantine and we're not doing nothing so I'm here bringing you interesting quarantine content you didn't ask for. But while you guys are here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And uh, to keep up with me as I'm more active on Instagram, so make sure you follow me. In this video, I'm going to be creating a similar video to what most of the YouTubers have been doing, which is like a recreating another artist. So I decided, I'm like, oh, I want to participate. I want to make a recreation myself but I am not going to be doing a recreation altogether I'm going to be doing my celebrity look alike and I'm just going to try and copy one of their looks to see if I actually look like them so the celebrity that I decided to pick that a few people have told me that I looked like was Notoria Laden now if you don't know who she is she plays in the TV show Power and her name is Tasha St. Patrick's in the TV show she's like one of the main characters so you should know who she is that if you know power but if you don't know power then i can't help you then go do your research and come back but so i decided i'll be doing tasha people have told me i look like her i mean i don't see it but here we are today you guys will tell me if you see it because i didn't see it so one of the pictures that i liked of her i'll insert it here this is the look i will be recreating now i found this picture i'm like oh she looks the makeup is very simple something that I, i'm sure i can do and that uh, the hair i was like okay i don't gotta i don't gotta go out of my way to buy nothing perfect so that's the look i'm gonna be doing in this video if you want to see how i accomplish and how i turn myself into miss tasha st patrick then keep on watching Now to recreate this look, I'm going to be using a lot of my new makeup that I did in my online shopping. I got some new lashes, I got some new makeup over here that I'm going to be using to try and recreate the look. Now to start off, I'm going to be prepping my skin using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer just to get my skin all hydrated. now looking at this picture her eyebrows are very different from my eyebrows like her eyebrows just go i have a little bit of an arch but her eyebrows mm. because her eyebrows are very very soft in the video i'm going to be using my eyebrow pencil which i used in my eyebrow video if you haven't watched my eyebrow tutorial you should do that right now it's very informative very detailed so I'm going to be using my eyebrow pencil for my eyebrows and I'm just going to be doing the same steps I did in my video except I'm going to try and shape them like hers but I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick and I'll be right back. Okay you guys I'm back and the eyebrows are done. This is how they're looking like. Now I like how the eyebrows turned out. I'm very very proud. For foundation I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Mahogany and I'm going to put that all over my face. I have this mixing tray. Just finished my foundation before I go in with my highlight and contour I'm gonna go back and take a look at the picture to see how her face is highlighted so just from the looks of the picture it looks like she's very highlighted barely contoured more bronzer than contour but she's definitely highlighted to the guards so guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna highlight to the guards I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade maple I 
Okay you guys, now that I'm done setting my face, I'm going in with my Fenty bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze up my face a bit. Now she didn't look, she looked like she had a lot of bronzer on, so I'm gonna be going in with a lot of bronzer and uh, to add some color into my face. Guys, so my face is all set. I'm going in with my MAC powder and I'm just gonna use this to blend my face. Now to highlight under my face some more, I'm going in with this really light MAC powder to get that light under eye that she has in the picture. Yep, this is the full light. So my entire base is done. I'm now going to move into the eyes. With the type of eye that she has, it's kind of like a smoky eye with the wing liner. This is the eye look that I'm trying to go for. So let's do this. Now because I'm going in with a lot of dark colors, I want to avoid any fallout. So I'm just going to take my powder and just... I have this sitting under my eyes to catch any fallout as well. To start off, I'm using my Too Faced concealer as my primer. Ooh, I think I took that color a little bit too high. I'm gonna go in with this clean blending brush and just trying to blend it because I took the kombucha. Better.
you guys i went ahead and i did my under eye off camera because it was my first time i like a clean under eye i don't like an under eye with too much going on and this is too much going on y'all don't understand but i'm feeling it still so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add i'm going to add some more bronzer because i look like a ghost and then we're going to go in with blush All right, now for blush, looking from the picture, she's wearing a lot of blush, like a lot of blush. And it's like an orangey, pinkish blush. So I'm going to be using my new Morphe blush palette. And these are the blushes that I have in this palette. So I'm going to be using this and this shade. So I'm gonna be mixing these two shades together to kind of get what she has going on. I think I went a little bit too hard with the blush. Ooh. Okay, I went a little bit too hard. So, I'm gonna try and diffuse some of this blush down because, boy. Okay, for highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm going to be using my new setting spray. This is the Morphe X Jeffree Star to set everything. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay highlight and I'm just gonna highlight just a bit. Looking at the picture, she has some killer inner eye highlight. I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever highlight. I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Mmm. Oh yes. Okay, so that's it. I went ahead and I did my inner corner highlight. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the lip. To get her combo, I'm going to line up my lips with my Kylie lip liner. Okay, once my lips are eyelined, I'm going in with this nude stick and I'm gonna go over my lip liner. So I'm going in with my NYX butter butter glass oh my god you guys that's it for the makeup I'm gonna go ahead and open my hair mm. 
now for the hair she has some curls in so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair and I'll be right back Oh my god, you guys, that's it for the look. This is the final look. I did my hair. I just added some loose curls. I went ahead and I threw on this turtleneck like she had in the, in the picture. Now, I don't really have black fur around, so I couldn't really put that on. But like, oh my god, you can call me Mrs. St. Patrick like what huh so that's it for this video that's it for this recreation if you made it to the end of the video thank you so so much i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart and uh let me know what you think about this video let me know how i did on this makeup look was it a hit was it a miss but i had fun filming this video now it was a bit challenging just because i'm like I was a bit hesitant about the, the, what I was doing but I had so much fun filming this and I really 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 like how the makeup turned now was something very different I usually don't go for such a dark bold look but I love the fact that I went out of my comfort zone and I love how the look turned out and if you ask me I think I did a great job recreating Miss St. Patrick's but you guys let me know what you think let me know if it was a hit or a miss thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one peace and love